Hi guys, welcome to Pat's Home Craft. Today I'm going to be crafting, so get ready because I'm going to be sharing with you some fun and very easy farmhouse flare crafts. Today I'm making a farmhouse inspired topiary. I start off by painting my bucket with my chalk paint. I'll use two coats. I'll distress the top and bottom with 220 grit sandpaper. To help with the distressing, I use a flathead screwdriver to scratch up the surface. Then I use the sandpaper to distress the scratches. I use this method all over, but not too much, and only in small patches because this is a small area. The rope brings a nice rustic touch and I simply hot glue it just under the top ridge of the bucket. I cut the rope and lightly glue the edges together. I decided to use these labels after I started the project. They're just peel and stick. This styrofoam block will wedge in and keep the topiary in place. Now I'll stain the largest dowel rod in that package with a piece of cloth I cut into strips. After the stick dries, you can start piecing it to the first ball. Push the stick in about two inches into the center of the ball. Then use glue to set it in place. Push the stick completely through the second ball and estimate where you'll place that second ball between the first ball and the base. Remembering that you'll use two inches of the stick into the base. Then remove it and place glue at the area where the top of the ball will be. Add glue to secure the bottom of the ball and add glue to the bottom of the stick to secure it into the base. Now I take these three greenery branches and pull off each individual branch. Glue each branch from stem to end on one side. These branches have a natural curve, so I glued the inside of that curve and placed it down starting with the stem on the top.
I keep layering the branches, working my way down all over the top ball. In order to glue the branches to the lower half of the ball, I lay the topiary on its side. I use the same method on the lower ball. I use a pair of wire cutters to keep from touching the hot glue. Now I use glue all over the styrofoam in the bucket to secure some reindeer moss. I purchased this moss at Walmart and I'll add the link below. I stuff smaller pieces in where there is a hole to make the entire base look even. I take a small amount of ribbon to tie a knot on the lower part of the stick. I cut the ends off and make a simple bow. And trim the tails. With glue, I attach the bow to the ribbon sleeve on the stick. I used a chalk marker to write the word farm on my sticker. And now I have an adorable farmhouse inspired topiary. If you have any questions or any comments, please do not hesitate to go ahead and comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I have more farmhouse flair DIY crafts coming soon, so stay tuned to my channel by hitting that notification bell. If my project inspired you, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.